It may seem hard to believe right now, but the Department of Ecology says that the Pilchuck River is nearly five and a half degrees Fahrenheit warmer than it used to be. There's nothing like a fall day on the river, but the big concern is over the water itself, which has become warmer because it's become more exposed to the sun. And that's not good for cold water fish like salmon. We first started a study in 2012, and then we did subsequent field work in 2014 and 2016. Heather Kahn is a water quality specialist with the Washington Department of Ecology. Part of that research was releasing non-toxic pink dye into the river in the summer to see how fast it moves or doesn't. It has fluorescent properties, um, and so uh, that works really well with the flu fluorometer. It's not that there are no trees on the Pilchuck, there just aren't enough trees. Also, the river is slowing down. The cumulative effects of well use, not for big agriculture, but mostly for watering. Cool groundwater that would go into the river is pulled out. It's figuring out how to get water back, like promoting irrigation efficiency. Over the years, we've, we've uh, probably planted, I don't know, close to 40,000 trees. Tom Murdoch is executive director of the Adopt the Stream Foundation. His organization has not only planted trees on the Pilchuck, but they've helped stabilize banks and worked with landowners on what is possible. I'm, I'm speaking to you from the Northwest Stream Center where we have three acres of wetlands that we restored from a parking lot that had been built over a wetland. And then there's this, cooler water is also better at retaining oxygen that the fish need. In Snohomish, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.